So, uh, peripheral loss of vision, you know, a lot of times you will see the patients, they may not be able to recall properly. They may not be able to, uh, okay, they may not have actually any presenting complaint at all. So, they might be having frequent accidents maybe uh, because, you know, in the beginning, in advanced stages, obviously, they are going to uh, understand that they have got some problem. But in the beginning, actually, they may not realize actually they have got any problem because they can see properly. They can see in, in, in front. But they may not be able to see on the side. In the beginning, in the starting, they may not realize it. So they may not have any symptom at all. But of course, then later on, they'll start having some symptoms. Maybe while parking, they were, they're scratching the car. Maybe while walking, they're bumping into people. They're bumping into the wall. They're bumping into the doors. And if the driver, they're getting some, some accidents and all. So that is going to be uh, important when we are dealing with peripheral field of vision. And I want to discuss tunnel vision, bitemporal heminopia, homonymous heminopia. But first, let's discuss it in, in like a complete uh, one package and then we will uh, put it in a different way as well. So gradual loss of side vision. Uh, so they may be having frequent accidents. That's something that might, they might see. Uh, headache, nausea, vomiting, blurring of vision, double vision, they might have that thing as well. See, when they have got peripheral field of vision problem, whether it is tunnel vision, bitemporal or homonymous, it is just a finding. It is just a finding. And there is a reason behind it. There is a reason behind it. You need to find that reason, uh, whether it is a glaucoma, whether it is retinal detachment, whether it is... Uh, a pituitary adenoma, meningioma, craniopharyngioma, optic neuritis. So there are going to be a lot of differentials for that. That I'm going to show it to you. But main thing is gradual loss of uh, side vision. Um, uh, and then obviously uh, we can ask questions for all these. Optic neuritis, you know which question to ask. Retinal detachment, you know what to ask. Angle closure glaucoma, you know what to ask. Stroke, you know what to ask. So make sure you rule out all these things. So presenting complaint, elaborate the presenting complaint, associated symptoms, and then red flags and your differentials. Right. Uh, past medical history, again, diabetes, hypertension, smoking, alcohol, family history, driving. Driving is going to be very important because if the patient is having peripheral field of vision problem, peripheral loss of vision, they shouldn't be driving because it's not safe, right? That's going to be very important. Uh, in terms of uh, investigation, examination, general physical examination, vitals, eye examination, do visual acuity. Visual acuity may be normal. They can see uh, field of vision. That is very important. When you do peripheral field of vision problem, they'll have some problem there. They'll have tunnel vision. They might have bitemporal hemianopia or homonymous. That is the very important thing. Right. And obviously, fundoscopy to find out what exactly is the background. Is it optic neuritis, retinal detachment? Is it, uh, I mean, uh, uh, something else? I mean, a pituitary adenoma or uh, anything in the eye related, I mean, glaucoma, retinal detachment. So, this is something that you need to find. So, fundoscopy definitely done, neurological examination just to make sure it's not stroke or uh, anything or any other uh, like meningioma, craniopharyngioma, or uh, pituitary adenoma, mostly seen in bitemporal heminopia. Right. Then you have to go for the scan because, as I said, tunnel vision, bitemporal, homonymous, that is just a finding. That is just a finding. Okay. Uh, what we need to do, uh, these patient needs the investigation as soon as possible, right? I'm not saying immediate, but it is urgent, at least within two weeks time, because the most common cause, peripheral field uh, loss of vision, bitemporal heminopia, mostly it is... Uh, Pituitary adenoma. What is the treatment? Treatment is actually depending on the cause. I mean, you need to find out the cause and then treat it accordingly, right? Find out the cause and treat it accordingly. DVLA reporting, of course, yes. Follow up and warning sign is like if your uh, vision is getting worse, vision loss is sudden, getting worse, any headache which is getting worse, eye pain getting worse. So what you need to do? Make sure you go to the hospital, right? What you need to do? Eyes, chuck and check, summarize, acknowledgement, body language, signposting, active listening, leaflet. That is really important. Uh, my vision is fine. Sometimes the patient, as I said, they may not realize it in the beginning. 
they might have come for a routine checkup or maybe their family members have thought there is some problem and they have actually forced the patient to go for eye clinic eye checkup but they sometimes feel um my vision is fine but then you need to make them understand what is the problem so you need to understand so this is a temporal vision that's your nasal vision that's your temporal vision that's your nasal vision and you need to explain where is the problem is it in the nasal side is it in the temporal side that is really really important yeah so for example, let me actually put eye examination as well in, in this, uh, in the peripheral field of vision because you need to do the examination. I'll show you a couple of slides here. So if you're doing eye examination, if you're doing eye examination, what you need to do, you need to start from inspection, do the inspection from the front. Visual acuity, that is what you need to do. You need to use Snellen's chart. How far the patient should be uh, when you're using Snellen's chart, it's six feet if you have got the bigger one and it, uh, sorry, six feet if you have the smaller one and six meter if you have the bigger Snellen's chart. So the smaller one they might have in the in the in the cubicle. So the distance is gonna be six feet for the smaller one. Uh, six meter is for the bigger one, right? So check visual equity. Then the color vision with the Ishihara plate. If they have got Ishihara plate, make sure you check the uh, color vision as well. Then you do visual field test. That is what we called as X test. X test. That is going to tell you if the patient has got tunnel vision, bitemporal heminopia, or homonymous heminopia. All right. So how are we going to find that out? That is going to be really important. So uh, first of all, if you get tunnel vision or you get bitemporal heminopia or you get homonymous, it is, as I said, it is just a finding. There is a reason behind it. So the reason is either if it is tunnel vision, it is glaucoma, it is pituitary tumors, it is retinal detachment, it is optic neuritis. That's why I said, why you are asking the questions, make sure you rule them out. Ask one, two, one, two questions for everything. So you're able to rule out these uh, uh, differential in the history itself as well. If it is bitemporal heminopia, 90% it is pituitary adenoma only, but it could be meningioma and craniopharyngioma as well. If it is homonymous heminopia, it is stroke, it is SOL, space occupying lesion, it is trauma, and it is uh, uh, infections maybe, right? How do you do it? So uh, in the exam, you might get a white head pin actually, white head pin, which is going to be helpful when you do this uh, uh, field of vision test. So we have to do a X test. We have to do an X test. So how it is done, the pin is going to be given to you. Uh, for example, that's my pin. So uh, white head pin, usually the pin is going to be white head pin. Uh, top is going to be head. So this is a white head pin. I'm going to make an imaginary X in front of us. I'm going to bring this pin from outside to inside. And you have to cover one of your eye. I'll be doing the same. And whenever you're able to see this wide head of the pin, you need to say yes. And please continue looking at my nose. Patient is looking at your nose. And from the side, you... Uh, you're just coming. When patient is able to see the pin, you have to stop. And this is how you will be able to find out if there is any problem in the in the temporal vision or in the nasal vision. And accordingly, you'll be able to make the diagnosis. So if you see these um, slides, if you see the slide, this is actually right eye. This is the left eye. This is normal. This is right left eye. This is TV tunnel vision. This is bitemporal heminopia and homonymous heminopia. Have a look at this slide for a minute you will understand what exactly i want to show it in this thing right now uh how you have to uh, so explanation is done so what you need to do you need to sit very close to the patient you need to sit very close to the patient when you're doing this uh, examination your knees are not touching but it is about to touch right and you know you when you start your arm is fully extended but when you are coming near to the patient your arm should be bending it should flex it should flex that is really important that is really important right because otherwise if you don't flex it and you just go like that you will be very much close to the patient which is not good right and if you scan this code actually it will take you to the examination video as well don't worry we'll share all these things uh, with you guys so what you do you start from there okay so this is my temporal vision and this is the nasal vision for my right eye this is the temporal vision and this is the nasal vision right for my left eye right so what happens if 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 the if the if you started from there and when you're bringing it in i said i can see i can see it means my temporal vision is fine you can check once from down there as well if i see i can see it means my temporal vision is fine and if you check the nasal side and if i say i can see 
I can see it means the nasal vision is also fine for this eye. It means I'm normal. But what is going to happen if there is a finding? What is going to happen? <clears throat> so uh, the thing is, if you start from there, if you start from there, though the instructions is say yes when you can see and you're looking at the nose of the patient. So patient said yes here. Yes. When you started down there, patient said, yes, here. It means the temporal side is gone for the right eye. When you check the nasal side, yes, yes. Nasal side is gone for the right eye. Temporal is gone, nasal is gone. Now if you check the other eye, yes, yes. Temporal is gone for the left eye. Then you check the right. Then you check the nasal side. Yes. Yes. That is also gone. So what I just trying to show it to you. If the patient can see on the sides, that's normal. But if this eye temporal is gone, nasal is gone. Temporal is gone, nasal is gone. What it is, it is tunnel vision. That is what I'm trying to show with this picture. Because this black color or the red color, I mean, so the, the, sorry, this green color and the red color, if you see, patient is able to see when, when the pin is just in front of the eye, right? What is bitemporal hemianopia? Bitemporal hemianopia is temporal vision is gone for both the eyes, but nasal is intact. Meaning, yes, I can see now when I'm in front. Yes, so temporal is gone. What happens to the nasal side? Yes, yes, nasal is intact. What happens to the temporal side? Yes, yes, gone. What happens to nasal? Yes, yes, nasal is intact, temporal is gone. Both the eyes, what it is? Bitemporal hemianopia. All right. What happens with homonymous hemianopia? One eye temporal vision is gone. One eye nasal vision is gone. That is what you call as a homonymous hemianopia. Which side homonymous hemianopia? The side where temporal vision is gone. For example, right eye temporal vision is gone. Left eye nasal vision is gone. This is homonymous hemianopia right side. That's how you have to do. So the proper examination, you can uh, see the examination video as well. Then it's going to be quite helpful, right? But uh, tunnel vision.